what if the mentee feels that their expectations of the mentor have not been met? Living authentically and uh, recalling what Jesus said to the disciples about how we position ourselves in the kingdom. And I think I also mentioned something about the fact that the end of mentoring is not self-development. It is not so that the mentee comes to a certain height in their profession and become you know, an earner of this amount of money and live here. The end is to find God's purpose for their lives and fulfill it. So I would say from the beginning that if a mentee is disappointed that a mentor rents a house rather than owns it, that, 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 that there was something false going on right from the beginning of the relationship that the mentor may have been giving the impression that they were more in the world's eyes, really, than who they really were. What are some attitudes of mentees uh, that could be acquired so that they benefit more from mentorship? One of the things would be the willingness to learn, willingness, but being available because mentors sometimes have very limited time and so for you who is being mentored the task is upon you to do your best to move in the direction of your mentor so that's an attitude that is very very much needed and to be able to share what you are if you don't the other person won't help you your book is a bit closed but it is when you open up, share what you are, who you are. And friends, I think along the line, time, it takes season to be able to trust the other person. And in that relationship, the two people knowing they are human is important. So that like my sister was explaining, the focus is not on this perfect man or perfect woman of God, but it is in this man or woman who is trying to walk in the steps of Christ. So finally, the mentee and the mentor, we are looking at Christ over there. And that's why I think in my presentation I illustrated that we can learn from one another. Amazing. Thank you so much. And it reminds me, I think, of, is it First or Second Timothy 2.2? 2? Being faithful, being available, and being teachable, the mentees. How can we um, deal with the power dynamics in the mentorship relationship to avoid the spirit of manipulation. Living towards God rather than towards the earth and the, and the acquisitive nature that we all have. There's a sense in which uh, Jesus lived in a political sphere that could have turned him into a zealot. How he lived in occupied Galilee and became Jesus of Nazareth rather than a zealot is the example we need to be following paying attention to the spiritual life, paying attention to our spirits, especially if we are Christian in politics, paying attention to our spiritual life so that people who see us, see us navigating the tensions and the possibilities of being led in the way of darkness. And if we forget that right from the beginning, God did not eradicate the darkness. At creation, God pushed the darkness away when God said, let there be light. 